Welcome to Center Stage. All things arts and entertainment. We just believe you ought to know about it. We want to say thank you to Chanhassen Dinner Theater for presenting Center Stage every Sunday night. Don't forget to go and check out Grease, which is playing now through October 28th at the Chanhassen Dinner Theater. Just go to the website at ChanhassenDT for Dinner Theater. Dot com. Again, that's ChanhassenDT.com. Well, my first guest, I am very excited about interviewing him. Let's take a listen. I am such a pop princess, honey. I was so excited to see him <laughs> coming on the show tonight. Um, yes, that is Dave Bickler, original vocalist for Survivor. Eye of the Tiger, one of my favorites. And Dave was the voice of the classic hit Eye of the Tiger and other classic Survivor hits as well. He will perform new material from his latest release called Dark Light at two different venues just this weekend. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. Dave, welcome to WCCO. Hey, hi. Hey, now, you are a busy man, and I know it feels good to be busy, doesn't it? It's it's always good to be busy. <laughs> it's always good to be busy. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's funny because you know today's Father's Day, and and I am a father, and uh, I was pretty busy today. <laughs> you know, but, but it's like I didn't I didn't get to lay around and just goof off all day. That that never happens on Father's Day. No, of course yeah. not. And I I know it was joyful for you. Happy Father's Day to you. Thank thank you thank you. I appreciate your that, your sir. career has been quite fascinating, especially when you uh, happened upon Survivor. But you had even successes long before that. But with Survivor, that is a voice I will never forget. Uh, you know, your voice will stand out in my mind forever. And knowing that you kind of came and went and came and went into Survivor was a little surprising. And then all of a sudden in 2013 or 2014, you're gone and that's it. Again. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's, I, I, I went back to Survivor, uh, you know, Frankie Sullivan got in touch with me and, you know, I'd been out of Survivor for quite a while. And, um, uh, he said, keep an open mind, and he said, how would you like to g- come back to the band? Sing with Jimmy, the mm-hmm. bo- both of you guys right. sing together. And, I, and I, I couldn't resist that because I'd become really good friends with Jim, and I really, you know, he's a, he was a great pal of mine, and I respect him totally, and I'm such a great artist. And so well, that was really fun to do, you know, for, for both of us to get up there and sing, you know, a song. We'd sing, we'd, we'd sing each other's songs, you know, and, you know, trade off. And, and, and it was just a, it was just a, a blast, you know, it was really uh, a great thing. And it was, so it was such a terrible, awful, horrible thing, you know, when Jimmy passed away. Yeah, passed away. That must have been so tough. And so would you ever go back if they called again? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I I shouldn't say that, I suppose, but... You know, yeah, it's just like you know. It, I'm just, I, I'm, I, I. It was really fun with Jim, but I have no interest in going. And, you know, they, they, he's got, a, they've got a young singer singing with the band, and you know, I, I really have no, I have no, really no interest in doing that, doing that now. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather do my own thing. Yeah. And I've got a new album coming out. You know, so yes, you I, do. I'd rather, I'd rather promote that and and be doing that. And I'm, I'm more than happy to sing Survivor songs. You know, that's 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 part of my part of my. Uh, you know my my uh, my past, my career. So I, I'm success, yeah. I'm totally good with that. But I, I'm, I'd like to be moving on. Yeah, we, we as musicians, that what we love to do is move on and move forward, up and forward. Is yeah, what I move say. forward, moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. Now you were born in North Dakota, but we see you as a native son here in the in the state well, of Minnesota. I, thank you. I, I feel like a native son because I did a lot mo- a lot of growing up there. You know, from four years old to eight years old. It's like a that's a big time in your life. That's a time when you you really have a lot of your start having memories, you know, stuff that you remember. Mm-hmm. And so I just have a ton of things, you know, I, I, you know about living in Wilmer, Minnesota. It, yeah. was, uh, it was a great place to be a kid. It really was. Yeah, Wilmer is still a, a, a pretty cool place. I've seen them myself before. I, I have to ask you, though, the sister Xavier, I think her name is, at St. Mary's Catholic School, yeah, so I, who gave you your <laughs> lessons, um, does she live to see some of your success? I, I have no idea. I kind of doubt it. I mean, I was I was so little, and, you know, she was a all. I, you know, I, I, but I, I can't say for sure. She, I'm sure she forgot about me completely. I doubt you it. You know, she, she, she was just, you know, a pretty tough taskmaster, you know, <laughs> you know, by the books, you know. So, I mean, I, I, it, it was a very brief seven year old encounter with an adult, you know. And so I, I have the feeling she has no idea. So if now, she, if she's still with us. 
Now that you are moving forward, you have this brand new release called Dark Light, and you're performing yeah. at two venues. We're going to talk about that in a second. But having children, um, has that changed you and the way that you sing and the way you write? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it has. You know, yeah. One uh, there's a song. There's a song on 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 this record, my new record coming. I call Angel Heart. And oh, Angel actually, Heart. Not okay. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Anyway, it's, it's some stuff my wife wrote about some kind of stuff she wrote down about him, and with so I I took some of that and I, uh, you know, it, it, what it, what happened was he, um got up in the middle of the night one night. He was little. He was like six or seven, mm-hmm. same same age as I, you know, was when I lived in Wilmer. And uh, so it was uh, watching a, the cartoon, the Cartoon Network. What I didn't know about it, Cartoon Network here in, in, in where we live, at midnight it changed to Adult Swim. I don't know if you're familiar with oh, that. Oh, my cartoon. gosh, so, yes. <laughs> so I left the room. He came downstairs <laughs> and, he, you know, he, I, I was sleeping on the couch because I, I fell asleep on the couch. So he comes down. And so I went to the kitchen to get him something to drink. I came out and he's watching Adult Swim. And he saw all those zombies eating brains and stuff. And he had nightmares for, like, a couple of years because oh, of that. Oh. I felt terrible. But the song is kind of about those terrors in the night. And, you know, when you hear the song, you'll, you'll know what I mean. So yeah. to, to answer your question, yes, you know, being a father has definitely changed me a lot. And it has affected mm-hmm. uh, the, my music. And you're still sure. touring. You're still all around um, and making it happen. Do you take um, your children with you or how does that work with the family and balancing it? Well, it just depends. You know, it depends. I mean, I have, I have in the past. I mean, I took... He's come to a bunch of my shows, but uh, I've actually got something over. I'm going to be doing it, you know, Rockingham Festival over in uh, Nottingham. I'm playing, uh, you know, I think it's in October. Yes. And I hope that, I hope I can bring my family over there because it'd be really fun to go over there. Yeah, over it makes there. a difference. Let's talk about the concerts that are happening here, right here yeah. in our own yeah, backyard. Right here, coming up. Um, yeah, June 23rd. This is this Friday at Sovereign Estate Wine in Waconia. Um, and that is from 6 to 9 p.m. Tell us about that concert. Well, you know, it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a cool show. I'm, I'm the the band's real good, and uh, the, they've actually a band that's backed up Jim Jameson before, and so uh, I'm looking forward to playing with those guys, and you know Mike and and uh, Mike Woodley and Mark, uh, uh, you know who's in the band, mm-hmm. gonna be you know playing with me, and uh, it should be you know. It should be cool. You're so laid really back cool. about it. I'm so excited about it. You're just laid back. Um, if people want tickets, I hope tickets are still available. You can go to SovereignStateWine.com. Tickets are 25 to $35. Again, that's happening on Friday. And then on Saturday, Sunday, uh, I'm sorry, Saturday, June 24th, is in Westbrook, Minnesota, at Keeping Up the Courage. That's Courage with a K. Keeping Up the Courage concert. Now, this is from 7 to 10 p.m. with Stephanie. Is it Verone or Veroni? Verone, I'm not actually, I'm not sure actually because I, I haven't met Stephanie, but uh, uh, I, I think maybe it was uh, Verone. I think okay. maybe that was it. Yeah, Stephanie Verone. <laughs> I hope I didn't get that wrong. I know, I was I thinking the same Stephanie, thing. So I, I'll feel really bad if I pronounced it wrong. Now, this concert is benefiting a community fund with scholarships, which is so needed. Um, it, it uh, my great. goodness. So thank you for doing that. Do you often make sure that you give back? Well, I mean, I, any opportunity to do that is always good, you know. If it's something for for a good cause, that's that that's always good, you know. I mean, um, I, I met, that makes me feel real good about it for sure, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, you are a superstar in my eyes, and if I were to meet you, you know, I would uh, try my best not to. Oh, oh, there he is. Um, but I'm sure that you run into fans like that. Um, does it bother you, or do you embrace it? Well, I mean, I. I always like to talk to people. I, I really, I really like people, you know, and, and uh, so I'm always, I'm always happy to talk to somebody, you know, and, and I don't think, you know, I don't think of myself as that, that way, you know, it's like, you know, I just think I'm a normal person, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I just happen to be, you know, like, you, you, I understand you're a musician as well. I am. But, I yeah. Am. So then it's just, I mean, it's just, and I knew, I knew from a really young age that that's what I wanted to do, you know? Yeah, well, keep doing it. Please keep doing it. And we're looking forward to you landing in the great state of Minnesota on June 23rd. Oh, oh me That's too. That's this Friday and, and June 24th, this Saturday. Welcome back. And uh, we really appreciate you joining us here on CCO. Thanks, Jalen. All right. That. Take care of yourself. Okay, you too. All right. Bye-bye.
That is Dave Bickler, uh, the original survivor vocalist of Eye of the Tiger. And I just, I love that song. He now lives in New York with his family, and uh, he is coming here to the Twin Cities. Now, if you want more information uh, for the first show on Friday, June 23rd, again, it's called Sovereign Estate Wine. Dot com sovereign estate wine dot com and that's in Waconia from six to nine p.m. and then also on Saturday June twenty fourth in Westbrook Minnesota at the Keeping Up the Courage concert that's Courage with a K and that's seven to ten p.m. with Stephanie Verone and uh, the concert benefits a community fund with scholarships and those tickets are twenty five to thirty dollars as well you can go to Keeping Up the Courage with a K dot org.